YouTube channels, man. Two YouTube channels if you guys are looking for content for your current gen. As far as your PlayStation 4 and your Xbox One, it will be on Black Rain 4 2. And if you guys are looking for your newer gen, which is your next gen content, it shall be on Black Rain 4. Videos will be dropping on both channels every single day. Like this video when you hear the bell. Ooh, search party where our buddies ankles. Ooh, hit life alert when I swear, cause this stick is fatal. I'm top man, call me Mr. Drado. Ooh, saucy with it, this that chicken in that white Alfredo. Ooh, you better wake up, this bad man, huh? They want my belt, I'm Batman, huh? Somebody won't play for a shootout, ayy. I shoot the thing up like Batman, huh? You all wanna know how I'm big now, ayy. I'll show you how to get the mass gains, huh? Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, put it down, put it down, put it down, gang. You in debt, yeah. I'm so in your head. Wait, 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 yeah, wait, wait. yeah. Work out the night flex, huh? Stick work got you stressed. Yeah, I'm happy you're impressed. Hey. All right, man. So before we get into the video, what I like to do now is I like to just respond to you guys' um, DMs or comments or anything like that. So I had this guy comment. He said, um, "There was a game I played where at the very end of the game." Um, this guy caught the game when it touched down to me. He said, I think, I think if you had gone for the swat and timed it up on the last touchdown, Snead would have animated and either swatted the ball or knock it out since Watson doesn't have a catching ability. Then he continued to say, but I don't really know about rigs because I gave up on rigs a long time ago. On Mutt, you have a better chance because you can put abilities on your cornerbacks that make them play deep zones way better, which is why Mutt is a better game mode in this Madden, even though people would try to exploit the glitchy crap like the Quiet Father and such. So, <clears throat> I responded to him and I said, um, let me, let me, I responded to him and I said this right here. I said, so you think Mutt is better because you can put abilities all over the field? Just asking. I wasn't trying to start an argument or nothing. I was literally just wondering, like, is that why you think Mutt is, is that your reasoning? If somebody asks you why Mutt is better, is that what you're going to say your answer is? You know what I'm saying? So I was literally just curious. You know what I'm saying? I was just curious. Um, because people will literally tell you, yo, bro, Mutt is better than Riggs. And then you'll be like, why? Because I can put abilities wherever I want them. I can just do the unthinkable. And it's like, okay, you know what I'm saying? Whereas in real life, you can't just say, you know, I'm not saying like, in, well, yeah, we are speaking about in real life. But in real life, I can't just say, hey, you know, let's put, you know, I'm in a, a regular game or whatnot. Hey, Jair, I want you to have deep routes on KO. And, you know, um, what's my other corner's name over there? Hey, I need you over there. I need you to have um, acrobat, and I need my DNs to have edge threat, and I want my linebacker to have say, uh, you know what I'm saying, secure tackler, and things like that. You can't just do that, you know what I'm saying? It's a nice slant on Jair, nice knockout Jair. You can't just do that. You feel me? You can't just, you know, in rigs you can't do that. In real life you can't do that. But people enjoy mud because they can build their team up the way they wanted to. So, um, short little story before I get into what he commented and said. Because um, he commented back something that I did not expect. Like, it was it was for real, real. And I love his comment back. But when I first got into franchise, right? Uh, oh, I thought you would play that, Rudy Ford. When I first got into franchise, right? Um, it was around the time that people was like, wait, I don't even have the uh, blitzing. I don't have the blitz in there. What am I doing? I have no audible. So I'm sitting there thinking I'm blitzing off the edge and I'm not the whole time. I'm not even blitzing. Well, I think I am, but I'm not. That's crazy. So when I first jumped in the franchise, right? It was around the time where, um, When I first jumped in the franchise, it was around the time where um, it was just stale. You know, hey, you know what I'm saying? Whoever gets slinger gets slinger. If you don't got slinger, you don't got slinger. You know what I'm saying? Um, there's nothing you can do about it. That's a great read. 
There's nothing you can do about it, you know. So you and, and I did like the the CPU draft, right? So it was to a point where it was like, okay, you know, the computer's pretty much picking your team for you. Whew, good hit. The computer was picking your team for you. So, you know, if you got Slinger, you was lucky. This was like Man 21 or 20. I think it was 21 where only a certain amount of quarterbacks had Slinger. I think it might have been Brady, A-Rod, and maybe like, it might have just been, it might have just been uh, A-Rod. I can't remember, but it was around the time where it was around the time where Slinger was like, you had to have Slinger to be a good quarterback. You had to have Slinger to be a good quarterback around this time. Thank you, thank you, thank you, somebody, thank you. So you know, so then the new, then it came, an update came, and it was like. Oh, we can now change abilities in franchise. And I wasn't really rocking with it because, like, when I get into a game and I see, you know, Lam uh, I see Lamar Jackson. I know exactly what abilities Lamar Jackson got. You know what I'm saying? We get into a game. I know what Lamar got. I know what I got to defend versus Lamar Jackson. But it was in the franchise, bro. I'm playing against Lamar Jackson with... Gunslinger, Lamar Jackson, a hot rod master. I'm playing against, you know. I'm playing against Watson with route tech. And I'm just like, yo, what am I playing? This is damn near mini mutt, pretty much. You know what I'm saying? That's what I compared it to. I'm like, yo, am I playing mutt or what? Like, this is crazy. Why do why are y'all allowing people to change abilities? And it wasn't my franchise to say anything about, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just like, what is going on? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, I don't I don't really like this, you feel me? This ain't, you feel me? I'm like, I'm like, yo, this ain't I'm like, yo, this ain't me. Oh, throw it out of bounds. Wow. Throw it out of bounds. And I, I seen fucking David matched up on 94 speed. That's the only that's why I threw it. I seen David's matched up. I don't want to throw it out of bounds though. You know what I'm saying? So I'm looking at this like, yo. And, and I'm asking people like, yo, why is why are we doing this? Like, it makes it better. It makes it more interesting. Bro, that shit's whack. I don't want to sit here and just play. You know what I'm saying? Bro, if I just sit here and play the regular regular franchise, I might as well go play Riggs. And I was like, but you can make trades, though, for players with a certain ability you want. They was like, no, nah, why make trades when I can just change the ability I want? And I'm like, I was like, I was like you know what? It sounds like you need to go play Mutt, my boy. <laughs> You feel me? I was like, it sounded like you need to go play mud. They were like, no, we changed them in franchise. And I'm saying like, oh, for real? They're like, yeah, bro. I'm like, oh, wow, okay. That's, I was like, that's interesting. Lazard is crazy. I was like, oh, okay, that's interesting. You know, so I was, I, I was, I was hip to them changing abilities in mud. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you put whatever abilities on whatever player on mud, and you just rock out. You know what I'm saying? But in franchise, I was like, no, nah, I ain't really too up to date on this. I ain't cool with that. They were like, bro, it makes it better, yo. You know what I'm saying? So if you ask people right now, you know, what is better, mud or rigs, they'll tell you, hey, bro, mud is better than rigs. You ask them why, they'll say, because I can build my team up to my liking. You know what I'm saying? So if I want to run a goal line scheme on offense, I can put all my abilities on my offense line, and I can put all my abilities on two or three running backs, and I can run over your face all game long. And on defense, hey, if I like to run man-to-man -man with a blitz on defense, I can just put, you know what I'm saying, man-to-man -man and deep. Oh, I took my user out of the equation right there. And, and, and it was like, if, if on defense I want to just run man-to-man -man and just, you know what I'm saying, Bliss, I can put whatever abilities on my corners and DNs and, and I can just send the house. And, you know, that's cool. But if you think about it from a rigs perspective, what team can you do that with in rigs? You know, you can go and get, you know, you can go and get Derrick Henry and the Titans and run down somebody's face, but you can't play man-to-man -man like that on defense because they don't have the DBs for it, you know. So that puts people in, like, predicaments. So they'll just sit there and tell you, Bro, I, ain't, I don't even play rigs, bro. I ain't even finna sit here and play rigs with you because I ain't even, that shit don't even fit my scheme. You know what I'm saying? So then it'd be like, okay, 
you think mud is better because you have total control over your team. They were like, yes, exactly. I was like, okay, you know what I'm saying? I can understand that. You know what I'm saying? I can definitely understand that. Did I already audible twice? Because I don't like that he's about to blitz me. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? I can definitely understand where you're coming from. You know what I'm saying? If you like total control of your team and whatnot, then cool. You know what I'm saying? Mud is better for you. But, you know what I'm saying? If you want more balance, pretty much. If you want, like... If you want, like... You know what I'm saying? Now, in, in regs, you know, you're not going to have 99s all over the field and, not, and, and abilities everywhere. Bro, I'm playing in mud right now on current gen. Everybody on my defense got ability. And everybody on my offense has an ability. Wow. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Which is crazy. Everybody on my defense and everybody on my offense has a ability. And we cannot sit here and say that's not crazy. That is crazy as hell. Not oh, why would you throw it like that? I had to slow down to catch that. Damn, that's crazy. Whereas on regs, you know, you got three or four abilities on offense, maybe one or two on defense. You know what I'm saying? You might got six or seven on the whole team. Whereas in much, you got 22, 23 people with ability. You got some people on the bench that come through with abilities. You know what I'm saying? Which is crazy. You know what I'm saying? So um, when I asked that dude the question, I said, so you think Mutt is better because you're going to put abilities all over the field? Just asking. He said, maybe better is the wrong word. I should say it's more playable because those abilities allow the players to do what they should already do to begin with. An example, catch picks, rush the passer, play zones, um, what's it, make good throws, etc. You don't have to have, you don't have to always pick he said, you don't have to always pick the same team to get certain abilities. I like that. That's true. You know what I'm saying? If you want Hot Rod Master, you got to pick the Bucks, regardless in rigs. No matter what, you got to pick the Bucks for Hot Rod Master because he's the only one on Hot Rod Master. He continued to say, um, um, so it is, he, so he, he said, so it isn't as stale as rigs because new cards are always coming out and players are constantly being updated. Which is true, bro. And that's part of the reason why I can't have a mutt team of my own, bro. Because I'm sitting here. I can't keep up. I'm sitting here one day. I'm playing with this quarterback. And next thing you know, I'll see two, three new quarterbacks. I'm like, yo, who are these people? Oh, yeah, new cards dropped their way better than the ones you were throwing with. I'm like, the one I was throwing with was 99 overall. Yeah, but this one got gunslinger for, for one AP and, and, and high right match with zero AP. And I'm just like, yo. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo. What's actually going on? You feel me? Oh, great defense. Oh, great defense. So he also continued to say, um, he also continued to say, that is a nice read. I manned up everybody except for him. That is a nice read. I manned up everybody except for him. He continued to say, um, it obviously takes a lot of money and big time commitment to field a competitive team, but at least you have some control over how your players play. And that's saying a lot, bro. So what he's pretty much saying is the players don't play how they're supposed to in rigs. You know, you have to have abilities on your players for them to play good. What he's also saying, and, and then he said, he said, um, and then he said, um, I wish Regs played better, but there's literally no defense on that mode. But you can actually play different defenses on mud and succeed. You don't have to blitz every single play to get a stop. He, I think he said something about uh, throwing, throwing animation too. Um, you don't have to. You, 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 every quarterback has good throwing instead of having to get a quarterback that's a great passer. You know what I'm saying? Like. You got it, bro. If you don't, if you play Ricks, you if you're not playing with the 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 Buccaneers, the the uh, Green Bay, if you ain't playing with the Chiefs, if you ain't playing with somebody like that with a good quarterback, it's gonna be hard versus somebody 
who is playing with a good quarterback, because you're going to be sitting here questioning yourself like, yo, why in the hell am I not, you know what I'm saying, why in the hell is he making these good passes and I'm not able to make these good passes? So you're going to be sitting here questioning yourself. But I loved his explanation, bro. I really did because, like, it was, it wasn't so much as, like, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't an argument. We weren't arguing about. We wasn't arguing about, you know, what you get. Tom Brady just ran past Adrian Amos. That is just the most disrespectful thing I ever seen. But we wasn't arguing about which which game mode is better, you know, Mutt or Riggs. It was more so an argument of, you know, which is more playable and which is more enjoyable to play. And if you ask me honestly, next gen, well, Period, bro. Period. Um, which is more enjoyable to play? Hmm. It depends on who you are. But I'll also say... It's a nice cut. I'll also say it just depends on... I'll also say it just depends on, like... What you're used to playing. Because I'm used to playing rigs, you know. But when I get on mud, so so I'm a good rigs player. I'm a damn good rigs player. I can do good with not a lot. You know what I'm saying? I don't need a lot for me to, to play good. But you'll have some people that be like, yo, bro, I got to have this. And I better have that. If I don't have this and I don't have that, I'm not that good of a player. And I can do good with less. So if you give me more, I'm going to be a better player. You know, but what I will say this, I will say this, running back is open, fuck me, I will say this, um, I will say this, regs players that go to mutt, if you're a good regs player and you go play mutt, you'll be a better player. But if you are a mutt, specifically a mutt player, and you come to regs, you will not be as good a, as a regs player as you are as a mutt player. I'm going to say that again for the people that don't understand what I'm saying. For the people that don't understand what I'm saying. If you are a good regs player and you go to mutt, you will be a better player. Then... You will be a better player than. That's PI, bro. That's fucking PI. You'll be a better player than a predominantly mutt player coming to play rigs. Head over to your App Store or Google Play and download the best way to play fantasy prize picks. Use code RAIN4 to get a 100% discount code up to $100. It's pretty simple. Pick two or more players from the board, choose over or under their projected stat line for the day and choose which way you want to profit. With flex play, you can miss one and still win, or you can go big with the power play to win more. Prize Picks offers every sport you can think of from NBA to NFL to even college sports as well. Prize Picks has a ton of stats to choose from, including three-pointers made, rebounds, assists, even the touchdowns, RBIs, and home runs. Prize Picks also allows mixed sports entries. Like you can take the over on LeBron's points and the under on Mahomes touchdowns on the same entry. There's also many celebrities who use and partner with prize picks, including Famous Los, Matt Ryan, John Collins, and many more. In 2021, prize picks had 300,000 new members and paid out over $130 million in prizes. With the easy withdrawal system, prize picks is the best legal way to play player props. Once again, go to your App Store or Google Play and download prize picks. And don't forget to use code RAIN4 for a 100% deposit match up to $100. And the reason I say that is because, check this out, like I already explained it, you're good with playing with three or four abilities, bro, five or six abilities on the team. You're good with that, bro. Like, you can rock out. Like, offense alignment might be terrible. You might got a good quarterback, two or three good receivers. Defense might be pretty shabby. You know what I'm saying? A couple of good DBs. You know what I'm saying? But you go to mud. And, and, and you know what I'm saying? And Riggs, you're going to have some, you know what I'm saying, some, some slack offs on your team. Certain positions that suck, they were like, man, if I had this, I'll be great. If I had that, I'll be lovely. Whereas on on Mutt, there is no weaknesses. You build your team around, I mean, there's no weaknesses, but you build your team around your weakness. Come 
on, bro. That's the out, bro. We're going to catch that. This man tripping my legs up and shit. Come on now. Hey, man, talk to me. It's great defense, honestly. D line just didn't get there. Whereas in Mutt, you know what I'm saying, you used to 20, you used to everybody having abilities. Now, when I say everybody, I mean everybody. You used to it. Come on, bro. Like, seriously, bro. On, 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 and what he's saying in the example right there on Mutt, that's a catch. You might got a deep out elite receiver to where, like, that's a, that's an automatic catch. Yeah, because I want, <laughs> yeah. Cause I wanted to dive. You right. You 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 totally right, bro. You right. Great catch. Great catch. Um. So it's it's not like. So it's not like, you know, I'm sitting here trying to argue which is better. I can we can sit here and argue all day which is more enjoyable to play. And if you ask me, um, I would say Mutt is more enjoyable because like I say, there's there's more cards that come out every single day and every single week and there's more schemes and things like that. You know what I'm saying? Everybody I, I don't know about Mutt next gen, I'm talking about current gen. Uh current gen rigs, everybody's running the same couple of things. But you get on mutt, you got to face a lot of weird shit that you've never seen before. And I'm not going to say it makes you a better... I'm not going to say mutt makes you a better player when you come back to rigs. Because it, it's a lot of shit that you prepare for in mutt that you don't see in rigs. So it's like, it makes you overthink. When you go to mutt, you know what I'm saying, you playing mutt. You got to worry about high route mastery. Three route techs. Playmaker, fucking a lot of shit. So then, when you come back to to rigs, you don't have to you don't have to really worry about that. Wow, fucking manned up too. Wow, you come back to rigs, you ain't got to worry about that unless you playing against Tom Brady. You feel me? You ain't really got to worry about that. Wow, again. Fucking again. Wow, you got to push the fuck down. Come on, Tom. Give me the ball, man. Give me the ball, Tom. Give me the ball, Tom. And you tried me too. You tried me. That is so disrespectful. That is so disrespectful. I'm so confused on where my guys. Oh, I wasn't in man to man. I thought I was in man to man so bad. Damn, that was bad. I thought I was in man to man right there. That was bad. But that's probably the best realistic comment that I've ever read, though. But it, and, and it was crazy. Like, it, 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 that was probably one of the best comments that I've ever received. Because it was all facts. The shit that go on in rigs should, should happen regardless. But you need abilities for it to happen. And Mutt gives you everything you need for shit to happen. Right there, I, I, one thousand percent. There's probably no question about it. That's a catching. That's a catching and mud. Probably like, probably like, no question at all about it. That's a catch. But you, you, but you need an ability to 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 make that happen. It just, it just don't. It just don't. It just don't. It don't. It don't. 
That shit just crazy. Great ball. Great ball, man. Offense line's holding up amazing, honestly, bro. Great ball. He is trying to strip the daylight side of it. He trying to rip the pig skin off the ball, cuz. Every time I see him, he like this. Ready to knock the ball loose. And as you see, as of late, as the games that I've been getting in, man, all the games I've been played lately have just been like straight up scoring back to back to back to back to back to back to back. To back. Lucky defense here, lucky defense there. You know what I'm saying? Every game I've played lately just been back to back to back scoring. It's like there is no defense, Rick. The defense is the clock. You're pretty much playing against the clock. The ball. Oh, stay forward. Stay across the line, my boy. Stay across the line, my boy. Wow, perfect accuracy. Where? That's defense right there. That that that's your defense. You got to throw a bad read for it to be. We're gonna go back and look at that, bro. We're gonna go. Why he threw it behind him? I don't know, bro. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why he threw it behind him. I just, I can't tell y'all why. I can't tell you why. I was just. <laughs> it's not like he was tired. He ain't been taking no sacks. I just can't. I, there's no explanation for it. Wow, I thought that was a fumble. I really did. I thought he was holding me up to strip it. Like, look, A-Rod, he's not tired. He's the offensive line. is, but They ain't have nothing to do with the pass. I just don't. I don't know, man. There's literally no answer for me right, for, for you guys right there. He is trying his hardest to strip that ball, man. But, yeah, man, there's no answer, bro. It's just... And you, as you all can see, there really is no defense. The defense is... The defense is pretty much pray your opponent makes a bad read or some shit like that. And that wasn't even a bad read. That was just that just was a bad pass. I don't I don't know much more on how to explain that. This video was brought to you by Manscaped.com, the global man's lifestyle brand that's disrupting the beer market. It's time to throw away that bulky beard trimming that you've been using for years. 10 useless attachments, and big old bulky power cord. It's time to upgrade to the Manscaped Beard Hedger Trimmer and upgrade your beard game. Inside the box, it comes with its own special packaging for travel. Inside the packaging, it comes with a charger, easy portable charger. Um, it comes with your Manscaped Trimmer, your Manscaped Hedge Trimmer, and it comes with one attachment. The reason it only comes with one attachment is because whether you like a five o'clock shadow or you like a tamed lines main, regardless of the situation, it has 20 different length settings right here with a spin dial. Three things special about this beard trimmer, waterproof, cordless, and rechargeable, so you can use it in the shower to save time and create less mess. Go to manscaped.com today and use code LTW20 to get 20% off and free shipping. Just catch, hey, bro, brother, just catch, the, it's cool, bro. No hard feelings, bro. We just want you to catch the pass, bro. We want you to catch the ball, that's it. We're not asking you for, to do, for, for you to do nothing crazy. Except for just catch a fucking pass. Lovely. All right, we're trying to choose some of this clock, man. And if I score, I'm not going for two. If I score, I'm not going to go for two. I'm going to try to go to overtime. And we both get a chance in overtime, you know. But that's the game plan. 
hopefully hopefully we can get there hopefully we can get there man he should have run commit here figured it was coming right there um if I was him I would probably run commit again If I was him, I would probably run commit again. It's good defense. Should have got the first down or whatever when I had the chance. Um, really don't know what to run right here. I don't like that slant running into that because that's gonna run into that. Uh. That was bad. GG's. That was bad. I probably should have got the first down and did what I did when I had the chance, but it's whatever, man. Yeah, I'm going to go back and look at that play, too, and see what else I had open because that was bad. And it was also bad because, see, I didn't think he was manned up, honestly, but I guess he was manned up because if great run. At first, it didn't look like he was manned up, and then the guy, like, he got beside him, and he started turning around with him. So, I didn't think to throw a high ball. I wanted to just... I wanted to just try to fit that ball behind him, but... I think he just threw that away. I wanted to try to fit that ball in behind him, because I didn't think it was man-to-man, -man, but... I guess we see it was man-to-man. -man. But we've seen the turning point in the game, man. Just... Wide. I'm, I ain't gonna say it was wide open, but it was if you throw it outside, we was inside the corner. The, he threw it behind him for some reason. And, you know, I don't get mad when I I don't get mad at losses at this game because it's not like I made the the bad throw. Like there was nothing I could I could do about it. Out route, we're in front of him, so if we throw the out route, we're obviously in front of him to catch it. You know, we're we're in front of him by two yards. So, he's not going to jump the out route. He's playing man-to-man. -man. Like I said, if we throw it, we're in front of him to catch it. You know, any other routes open? Um, nothing else was nothing else was open. So, if we throw it in front of him, or if we throw the high ball right here, you know, throw it down this way a little bit, we can jump in front of him to catch it. Same thing I'll do right here. But for some reason, you know, we're, you know, no pressure, no pressure. I didn't back up a thousand yards, you know. I'm five, six, seven yards back, you know, from the line of scrimmage. This is normal. You start off at five yards. I'm seven yards back. Throw the out route, you know. If we just throw it out here in front of them, I can click on and catch it. Do it behind them for some reason. I don't know, you know. Look like you just threw it right at the corner. Look, look at the corner. <laughs> and I clicked on because I'm thinking, okay, we finna come downhill and catch this pass. Man, he threw it right at the corner. Like, I'm just confused. You know what I'm saying? We're in front, like, like I said, bro. We're, we're in front of him by we cut, bam. We're in front of him by by a couple yards, two yards. Threw right at the corner. Um, then on fourth and ten, they're not gonna show me a fourth and ten. All right, but they'll show a throwaway. That's crazy. Um, this right here, I wanted one of the slants. I wanted one of the slants. Should have threw the go route right here inside. Should have threw the go route inside. See, he's outside of me. See, he's outside of me. Should have threw it inside in here somewhere. Would have been perfect. Or maybe the high ball right here. Probably the high ball right here would have been lovely too. But I was looking at one of these slants. So. This drag wasn't open. He's there. That slant's not open right there. I was going to try to roll out, you know, but uh, Mega Man right here broke through two, not two blocks. Of running back's not doing nothing but just sitting there. He should be helping on the edge, but he's just sitting there and got an easy sack. But fourth down, I'm going to go back myself and look and see if anything was open. Probably was, probably wasn't, but... That was a GG, man. That's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes, man. Can't get mad at next gen. That's just how the game plays. Hey, Blair,